Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the 17 kinds of peppers and a couple extra things that I started from seed yesterday. The gardening season is really underway now that I have sown all these pepper seeds. My last frost date is coming up in mid-April or so and I wanted to get these guys started a little later than I did last year. Okay, let me start with the sweet peppers first because I know that's what everyone's really, really interested in. I also have a bunch of hot peppers and then um, it's, it's from all sorts of companies. The first one is a Lesia pepper. So excited about this guy here. It's supposed to be one of the sweetest peppers that you can grow. And then I have a couple colors coming up. A purple beauty bell pepper because that was a request from my husband to have a purple pepper and I just said, absolutely, let's buy another pepper pack. No problem there. Also an orange bell pepper. So I have not grown these first three peppers before. There's one other new sweet pepper that I'm doing this year. It is called the Corno di Toro. I've heard about this one on Roots and Refuge for the last few years. And in my gardener had a great sale this summer and I just happened to buy it. <laughs> So I have grown Shishito peppers before. These are so easy and prolific. I had two or three plants last year, had hundreds of peppers. <laughs> I was, we were eating Shishito peppers as a side dish at dinner once a week. Just sauteed in a cast iron skillet with some salt. You could also make a dipping sauce. I haven't tried that with these. The salt is really great. And honestly, it's, it's convenient to have these guys. And they're not hot at all. These are all sweet. I have some sweet banana peppers. I actually waited a little with the peppers last year. I, I picked them too soon and I didn't like the taste. And I realized I was just picking them too small. They actually get four or five inches, maybe six inches long. And then the walls get really nice and thick when they're that big. And at that point, they are delicious to put on pizzas or to pickle. I don't know why it took me till the end of the summer to pickle these guys last year. That's mainly what I'm going to grow them for this year is just pickling and then maybe something for pizzas. Final sweet pepper, the old trusty California uh, Wonder Pell pepper. This is where I'm going to get my red bell peppers. And I did let some of these turn red last year. I, I was patient. It was delicious. So sweet. Just what you'd want for a bell pepper. I did forget to say I am growing a mystery pepper this year too. I saved some lunchbox sweet peppers from the grocery store, red, orange, yellow colored seeds. So I'm going to grow those as well. Now I'm going to show you our hot peppers, which we really do a lot of different hot peppers. Jamaican Scotch Bonnet is a beautiful hot pepper. Do a jerk chicken with it. Also, we love these for pepper flakes. Another one that I grew last year, the peach boot jalokia pepper. This is a ghost pepper and it is vicious and it makes your mouth numb. We do make pepper flakes from this and we've also made hot sauce from these in the past as well. It was very low production for like the two plants I had. I think I got maybe five or six, maybe seven peppers from it. Partially because the peppers last year went through a freeze outside. I had to, I covered them all with towels and they made it. That combined with some, some soil issues at the start of last spring hindered the peppers. I'm excited to see what these do now that I know better what I'm doing with fertilizing. Habaneros. I grew these my first year gardening in 2020 and had amazing success. The habaneros were like little, little lanterns and they just glow. They're so bright orange. Make a great jerk, ch jerk chicken pepper option, of course and really stand out in a hot sauce. We made a hot sauce with habaneros as well. My first year I actually had so many peppers that I froze a bunch. And then finally this, this winter, I just dehydrated them because they were from 2020 and I needed, needed freezer space. I didn't grow any last year, but now that I'm running low on habaneros, it's time to grow some more. Buena Mulata is another pepper that I started last year. These guys are so funny looking because they go from purple to orange to red. And it's it's just shocking to see these start out purple. It's spicy. I'd have to say it's probably spicier than a jalapeno. It's not something you want to just bite into, but cooked into a dish, it's really good. I did try to put these in my, my cucumber pickles last year. And honestly, 
I didn't taste any heat at all in the pickles. I think I would have to actually chop these up and put them in the pickle jar for them to flavor my pickles. Serrano peppers are another fabulous hot pepper. It's not very hot, but it's hot enough that three or four of them in a curry is good flavor, good heat. And I was buying these from the grocery store and last year I thought, well, why don't I just grow them? <laughs> and they're pretty prolific. They're, they're about as prolific as my jalapenos were. Speaking of those, my jalapenos, I do the early hot jalapeno pepper and I have pickled these before. I didn't pickle any last year and I already used them all up from 2020. So I actually, I'm going to grow a lot of jalapenos this year so I can have them in the freezer and so I can pickle them. I have one more pepper from the hot peppers that I have grown before, the Trinidad Scorpion. It is similar to the Jamaican Scotch Bonnet. I actually had trouble differentiating the plants last year because I didn't label them. I just had a diagram on paper. And so I'd be out there and I'd go, which one is which, you know, but these are a beautiful red color and are, we're more productive than some of my other hot peppers. I am doing two new hot peppers this year also. There's some debate on how to say this, Malls versus Molly's hot red pepper. I'm growing it because we wanted a cayenne shape pepper, a capsicum anum species we wanted we wanted one that we could do pepper flakes with I think it's I think it's gonna be like a, a middle range heat I, I, we'll, we'll see I do hope to make a lot of pepper flakes from this and maybe a cayenne style hot sauce as well the last new pepper I'm growing is the big Jim hot pepper and it's funny because I have a neighbor named Jim and he lets me use his garden bed so he's gonna get a kick out of this pepper being called the big Jim pepper and it's, it's going to be a nice one to try out because in my gardener's sale, again, I was like, oh, mine as well. Mine as well. Peppers grow so well here. I have three more varieties of seeds to show you, and my cat is here enjoying our time together. I started my straw flowers. We are going to do some dried straw flowers again this year, only this year I'm doing a ton more of them. I have a white one and a silvery rose one as well. These are just such... I mean, disease resistant, nothing got them, nothing chewed on them. The only weird thing with the straw flowers was that ants would be crawling around on the flower heads themselves. So maybe the flower heads produce some sort of ant attracting scent or, or liquid, I don't know, but uh, the flowers are beautiful and you just shake the ants off and you're good. So I'm going to dry a lot of these, pep uh, not peppers, dry a lot of these flowers for next year. And then I did start actually two more things, not that one. Some catnip. I cut off the name, but you know, I have this cat on my lap right now. I figure I should be growing catnip. And then these greens and chimichisai. They're supposed to be a velvety umami type of a green, which, you know, why not? It's supposed to do well in the heat, so I'll, hopefully this is something I can have in the garden in the early spring and summer. Something different. We'll try that out. Thank you guys for watching my video. I started all of these yesterday, uh, not July, February 12th. Our last frost date is in about two months, so we are going to have lots of seedlings down in the basement. I would show you my seedlings in the basement right now, but they're so, so small that they're, they're actually smaller than what I think it'd be easy to see. So I'm gonna wait till they get bigger for you to see the last video's seedlings. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and hear updates on all these pepper varieties, all 17 varieties. And like this video too if you'd like me to make more like this. Thanks for watching.